Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. And this is part two to the Singularity Expedition. We can finally complete the expedition. It only took an extra day or so to get where we needed to be. As you can see, it says there's a new reward. Sentience Echo is now complete. So we can go ahead and claim this reward. We just get some Corvax words. We can go ahead and claim it. It's not really a big deal. So we'll go ahead and get those words. But you'll see that every phase of our expedition is now complete on this particular save. Now, if you're looking at it right now, you're saying, wait a second, he didn't, he didn't claim some of these rewards. This is a different save. And the reason why I'm showing you on this save is because you can complete this in two different ways. So I have two, two actual expedition saves going on right now. So we're going to complete it one way on this one. We're going to complete it the other way on the next one. So we'll show you both right now. So here we go. Uh, we are ready to restore life to the construct. But to do so, we have to have gone back to that computer and got... No, let's get the reward. And got one of these in our inventory. The Echo Collective is the one that you need in order to complete this. So what you'll do is you'll have the Seed of Hope, which you can plant in there. You'll be putting the Echo Collective in there, which I think we've already done. Or you can then also put in this, the Atlantid Reactor. So you have a choice between two different objects. Let's go ahead and head over there right now. Let's just take a look. We have it selected. Okay. So the choice awaits. Complete the construct by using the Atlantid Reactor or the Seed of Hope. Either one of those two to get the Ignition Atlantid or Ignition Crimson to proceed. So this one we're going to use the reactor on, okay? See? Irreversible, only one option can be chosen. And you want to do this whole scenario twice. You do want to do the whole expedition two times to get the second choice so you can get the second item. So here we go. We come up to this, talk to the construct, highly distressed, it's all lost. So you're going to soothe with the Echo Collective that you already got. And it calms it down. But then we have a choice. Let's get through all this. You can read it later on your own. So we connect the Atlantid Reactor or plant the Seed of Hope. We're going to do Atlantid Reactor, like I said, on this one. Okay. There's no going back. Reconsider. You can go back or you can do it more time. So we're going to continue. There we go. Greet the construct. And there you go. Ignition Atlantid. And if we look at our choices, you'll see that we have restored life to the construct. And we have our Ignition Atlantid. Let's go ahead and collect that. And we should get... There you go. Breathe life to the construct. Milestone complete. So we are now complete. Let's go ahead and select it. There we go. Crystallized hearts. Biscuits fluids, which is just disgusting. Thank you for that. Uh, let's go back to this, and you'll see that this is unavailable, but phase five is now complete. You'll get the title of the construct, singularity decal, and banner customization. And then finally, the full reward right here, you get the construct customization set. What is that? We're going to find out in just a second. It's going to ask us to go to a new save. There we go. Accept it. All right, and let's show you. So this is all done. So we're going to show you the first one real quick. We have completed the entire expedition. We can go to the Quicksilver vendor if we want. Ignore that thing about Twitch rewards. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay, so what you can do is you can stick to this, but you see you now have Autophage. So I can select that. And look at that. You got your presets. I can go to the body shape that we already got. The head, you now have the construct Atlanted. So this gives you this particular head that you can now do. You can do all kinds of markings and stuff like that if you wish. Obviously, this is all locked out. I'm just showing the basics. You can choose different eyes, which you can see they're flashing and stuff like that. And you've also got block casing, highlighted casing, detailed casing. See, look at that. That's pretty cool. And elaborate markings. And obviously with different colors it could look pretty neat. 
you know, red highlights around the outside and go all red around the outside. You can do different things with this. But the same thing on the torso and the body. You can now change the body to a construct chest as it already has. You can get rid, I can go ahead and get rid of the armor completely. Like we just go life support unit. See, that's just pretty neat. That's pretty neat. The gloves, you can see now you have construct hands as well. From the fabric gloves, you can go construct hands. That would look pretty crazy weird to look at that with regular hands on mechanical arms. So, but anyway, you can keep going with this. You can change the legs. You can put regular legs or keep them. You can go mechanical boots as well. So you can really do up some neat, neat stuff here if you wish and go with a completely mechanical body. So that gives you the head. Obviously, I haven't you know selected any colors that are any making any sense here. So that is the end of this expedition. I'm going to go ahead and just save this one real quick. Not sure why. I'm probably going to be deleting it anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. I've already done this before back in June, so it's really not a big deal. But just for the sake of I like to do this. And there we go. So there's our restore point. We can always come back. So let's show you the other ones. See, we are now complete. The whole phase is done. Uh, you'll see it's also missing from up here. We're going to go to options, go out to our mode select. And this is the one we just completed. Let's do this one. And we'll come back in and check it out and we'll see what we're talking about here. And this time we're going to choose the other option, the Seed of Hope. And we'll see what we get as a reward. And it shouldn't take long to load in. There we go. And you notice it'll tell us Sentient Echo achieved convergence. So that is the entire group of people that have been playing this all together who have achieved it. And it's giving us the, the beautiful music to go along with it. You notice this is the, the phases as we completed them. We haven't, we haven't uh, taken in all the rewards here, of course. But... We did get Sentience Echo done. It is now completed. Sea to Hope is completed. We can go right straight to restoring the, the uh, life of the construct. So let's head over there. We're going to do this one. And this time we're going to do Ignition Crimson. Ignition Crimson is what we're going to choose here. And there we go. I can't move. There we go. We're through. Okay. A little bit of a glitch there. So here's the construct. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to soothe it with the Echo Collective that we completed. And finally, we're going to choose... There we go. The Seed of Hope, this time. Number two. But now I see this is the spark, the missing fragment of life. Is it the right choice? We're going to do it. Aligned. All alive. Greet the construct. All right. Ignition Crimson. Seated a mind of hope. Breathe life into construction. So we now completed this one. Same thing. So we're going to go to phase five. You'll see that we got it. Okay. This one. And this one is now unavailable. This is the reward. We'll get the Crimson customization. And then finally... Phase 1 gives us the posters. I'm just going to skip that for now. We're going to go final phase, and this will give us the rest of the construct. Now, we can go back in. You'll notice that it's not giving me the, hey, you're all complete with it, because we haven't gotten all the other rewards yet. But that's okay. We're going to head down here, and we're going to show you the difference on this now. All right. Appearance modifier. Again, we're going to go autophage. And that is the difference in the head. So there's the head style for the construct head crimson on this one. Same kind of thing. You can do weird patches on it, but you can't quite see them on here. It really doesn't make any difference. You got the slow blink going all the way across. And you can see there's all kinds of different things. Glare, slow pulsing, rapid scanning. Kind of a neat head to do this with. I'm going to go back to this one. I kind of like that. And then, you know, let's go colors. I tend to prefer, prefer blues and purples when it comes to this. You don't see a whole lot of differences in the purples on this. Unless you go to that. 
So that I leave up to you. As you know, purple is one of my favorite colors as, as well as blue. Ah, change the scanner color. That's pretty neat. So there you are. Again, torso is the same. You'll notice that it doesn't have any armor selected at this point. We just have the construct chest. The armor has been left blank. It doesn't have, it haven't selected anything here. So that's pretty neat. Gloves, same thing. You got hands instead of the construct hands. Legs have regular legs. Let's go to the construct legs. There we go. Same thing with the boots. There we go. And we'll go ahead and save it. So that's what he looks like. So it is pretty neat being able to choose between these things, and it really changes it up a little bit. It gets kind of crazier with the next one when we start doing Atlantid stuff, and we get the Atlantid upgrades and things like that. We really have a much better time of it, and there's a lot more flexibility in the facade that you put on your character. So, all right. So that should take care of this, folks. Let's go ahead and jump in and out. Again, I'm just going to save it for the heck of it. And you know what? Why don't we do this real quick? Let's fill up our inventory. <laughs> Why not, right? Phase two. If you can get to the escape key quick enough, you can get in there and select them and win them. Sometimes it wins ahead of you. There we go. Depends on who's faster, right? Ah. So we're going to complete out this expedition if it's the last thing I do. The Wayfarer's Helm is actually pretty cool. If you haven't seen that one, I'm thinking about showing it to you real quick. But you'll see it on your own. That's a pretty cool helm to get. Almost had it. And we locked up. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, locked up pretty good there. Not much you can do. Black screen, folks. Yeah, try not to hit the escape key too many times, because that's the things that can happen when you uh, hit the escape key once or twice. Um, so, yeah, that was a problem uh, back in the day. Happens once in a while to me, and I don't care what video card I have in there. It just does the same thing over and over again. <laughs> so, got to be careful of that one. But that game is now going to be in normal mode as well. So, you'll see it even says five days early, and they see that these went to normal mode. And yes, I'm going to do that and get rid of it. Make sure I don't hit my main save by accident, right? And we'll go in here, and we'll just see how it completed out. And as we zoom in and see the big No Man's Sky emblem yet again, I want to thank you all for watching. And as I said, part two to this whole series was going to be significantly shorter than the two hours plus that we did on the last one. Now, I know we touted that you can get this done in two hours. Now, if you didn't do as much talking as I do, if you um, just run through it, kind of like I said, trust me, it'll be much less than two hours. Um, the game, uh, I can't remember, but if I remember correctly back in June, the record time to complete this was something ridiculously low, like 39 minutes or something like that. It might even been lower than that. It was an incredibly short amount of time. Um, there we go. And we just got to wait. Let me check. Uh, yeah, it didn't quite get all of my rewards. See, there's the Wayfarer's Helm. So that's taken, and it's just phase five. Let's go ahead and let it talk for just a second. I think, did we get everything? This is the only one. We already got this one, right? So it's just this one. There it goes. This is the problem. It comes up with the screen. If you hit escape to clear this, it will lock up the game. So now we are complete, and this is now a normal save again. If you are interested to see what the Wayfarer's Helm looks like, I wanted to keep this video to about 15 minutes, but since I'm deleting it anyway, let's just go ahead up here and check it out. It's kind of crazy looking. I don't know if I like to have an entirely mechanical body, but that's okay. It's, it's fun to experiment. 
And this is what the Wayfarer's Helm looks like. Let's just go to the head straight. And do we have it? Let's hold on a second. It's not what I was trying to do. That's okay. We'll change to that. Let's go to the head. There it is. That's the Wayfarer's Helm. I don't like the green. That's just annoying me completely. Uh, let's do black. Black highlights over there. And we could switch that around. Let's go blue and purple here. And we get some purple highlights around the outside if you want to go red. That looks pretty neat. And the eye beams here change with the color that you change, as you can see. Red looks pretty wild. White gets super bright. Green. Yellow. Yellow is pretty neat to have there. So that's what the Wayfarer's Helm look, looks like. It's a pretty neat helm if you, if you're, if you like to select that. Got that huge uh, uh, thing coming out of the back. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I might switch over to that one of these days. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. And we're going to probably be doing a... I'm going to do a quick wave here. Bye-bye. Okay, good. And we're going to probably be doing a live stream tonight. We're going to be showing off the Singularity Expedition in its entirety and see how fast we can get it done. It, I, it won't be quite a speed run. It'll be more like a speed test, <laughs> if anything else. But it'll probably be the last... Um, my last stream I'll be doing until January, so I want to get something else in here and see if I can't get it done. Anyway, folks, thank you again for watching. Again, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. So close to a thousand subscribers. I can almost see it happening while I'm on vacation, but hopefully it won't happen until like a, in the January. It'll help happen a lot sooner than that, but we'll see. Thank you very much for all your patronage, for everybody who's been watching, and I really appreciate uh, everybody's uh, uh, watching my channel for the past little over a year now. Again, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.